This instructional video was developed for producers by USDA's Natural Resource Conservation Service. The goal of effective irrigation water management is to apply just enough water to a crop's root zone to meet growth and maintenance requirements until the next planned irrigation. To answer the question, when and how much should I irrigate, it's important to first answer the questions how much water will my soil hold and how much of that is available to my crop. To find this information, go to NRCS's website at the following link, websoilsurvey.nrcs.usda.gov forward slash app forward slash. Now click the green Start WSS button. After this, you will be able to enter the location of your farm and discover the predominant soil types on your farm. You will also be able to determine the total available water content based on the depth of your soils. Next, you'll want to take a soil water inventory to determine how much water is currently in your crop's root zone. A wide variety of soil probes and augers may be used to help you dig into your crop's root zone and extract soil samples. From these you will be able to determine the amount of available water. One of the easiest and most accurate ways to tell how much water you have left in your root zone is to follow the guidelines in NRCS's booklet Estimating Soil Moisture by Feel and Appearance. Now squeeze your soil sample and match it to one of the pictures in the booklet. In this case we have a fine sandy loam. Available water content is the proportion of water in a soil that can be readily absorbed by plant roots of most crops. Often it is expressed as the percent of available water using field capacity as 100%. Percent depletion is the complement of available water. This means when the two are added together they equal 100%. For example, a soil with only 50% available water is 50% depleted. This relationship will become clearer through the following illustration. Push your soil probe about 18 inches into the ground and hold the sample in your hand. What you have is an indication of the available water in your root zone ranging from about 6 inches above to 6 inches below the sample, that is between 12 and 24 inches. From an earlier slide, we found your type of sandy loam soil has 1.4 inches of available water at field capacity. Using the chart on page 12 in your booklet, we find our sample has about 60% available water. This is the same as 40% depletion. To find the net depth of water needed to fill this zone to field capacity, simply multiply available water at field capacity by percent depletion. By sampling the soil every foot down your root zone, you can determine how much water is available to your crop and the depth of water needed to replace the deficit. In our example, 2.4 inches are needed to bring soil moisture up to field capacity. Field capacity is how much water remains in the soil after excess water has drained by gravity following saturation. To find percent depletion for your root zone, divide the deficit by total available water, that is 2.4 inches divided by 7.2 inches. If percent depletion is 50% or more, it's usually time to irrigate. 